Hey everyone, it's Anne Marie from Hello Basque. Today I've got a different video. This week has not gone as planned because basically I like to plan these videos in advance, like weeks in advance, record it, edit it, get it good to go, but that's all gone out the window this month and it's due to personal things. Now before you start being like, Anne Marie, we don't care about your personal life, we're here to learn about Hello Basque. It is related. To Basque things, why my life is in shambles, and why I'm not as organized as I would like to be. And it's because Udaleku has taken over my life. I wanted to take this opportunity to spend this video talking about Udaleku, the North American Basque Organization's summer camp for kids ages 10 to 15. So I figured I would just record this video talking to you guys one on one in Aita's garden because I mean, I mean, he's been working so hard and I know you guys are fans of his. Basically, this Basque summer camp is in South San Francisco, California this year, hosted at the Basque Cultural Center. And it's a day camp, so what happens is you've got kids coming from all over the United States for this camp and they ask locals in the community to host kids um, to stay at their house. So I found out hella last minute, like literally 10 days before camp started, that I was gonna get two kids coming to my house. And the thing is, I just moved. And so uh, I've had a lot of boxes that I've been procrastinating unpacking because I was like, oh, whatever, I don't, I don't need this space. It's fine, these boxes can stay here forever. And then I found out last minute that I had kids come to my house and I needed to get rid of all of my boxes and I needed to find mattresses and sheets and towels and like, go buy kid food, like I don't know what. So basically, this last week I've just been scrambling, like cleaning the house and just getting stuff done. So now Udaleku is finally upon us. So I figured this is a perfect opportunity to tell you guys about a really cool program that the North American Basque Organizations has. So pretty much every day for two weeks, like kids are going to Basque summer school. They are learning how to be Basque, learning about Basque culture, and kind of developing a Basque identity. This year, San Francisco is hosting 109 kids. So basically these kids are breaking into smaller groups every day and they're going through classes. So Basque dancing, Basque sports, music, singing, language, and um, she's do lessons and along the way they're having fun activities like field trips going to an amusement park they're going to a giant baseball game so it's really fun as a camper i'm a really big fan of this program because basically without udaleku like this youtube channel hello basque everything like this would not exist because i don't think i would feel hello basque as an american if it weren't for udaleku kind of sparking my interest in basque culture and really giving me an opportunity to learn more about my heritage so that's why i'm a big supporter of this camp and that's why i wanted to host kids this time around because I want to see it from the other side so I just wanted to take the time today to tell you guys in this video a little bit about Udaleku if you didn't know about this program or if you're thinking about sending your kids but you're on the fence or not sure like it is such a good program it is so effective not only does it help kids learn more about Basque culture and start creating um, a Basque identity and a connection to their Basque heritage but more importantly it helps kids connect with the community of Basque Americans that are here I think the best part for me as a camper was how many connections that it gave me with kids in Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Wyoming, you know, people I never would have met otherwise just staying in San Francisco. And so the beauty of it is basically you age out of camp at 15, but after that is so much fun because when you start going to these Basque festivals across the United States, you end up running into people that you've met from camp or you can make plans with people you know from out of state, you know, to meet up at a certain festival. And that's the best part about it. I feel like it helps them connect with each other and just feel connected to the culture. They're making friends in it and that means they want to spend more time in it and ultimately that's just good news for all of us because that just means hopefully that these kids will grow up and want to continue the Escuela Cheak, the Basque centers we have in the United States and continue these programs that the people who came before us started. So big thanks to the North American Basque organizations for putting in the effort <laughs> to make this program such a success over the years, especially the Basque Cultural Center and all the volunteers in the San Francisco Bay Area who are making this happen. Like, it's gonna be a fun two weeks. We're just getting started. And so, if you guys have any questions about what other programs the North American Basque Organizations has or uh, more questions about Udaleku that maybe weren't addressed in this video, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. I've also linked down in the description below the North American Basque Organizations website so you can learn more about this program, kind of in the, the own words of uh, the organization itself. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can keep in touch with Hello Basque on social media. Until the next video, we have videos every Thursday, so if you're interested in catching the next one, definitely subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.